what is the odd days odd days is simple how many days you have you just divide by 7 why 7 because number of days in one week it is 7 whatever remainder we are getting that is called odd, odd days once you got the odd days then you are able to understand how many weeks are there and how many times Monday will repeat because first January first day was Monday from there we have to calculate after seven days again Monday after seven days again Monday but if you will do manually and consecutively then it may take much much time like first January first day was Monday if I am telling you just just example famous date 15th August 1947 when India got the freedom which day it was don't see like a Google uh, Google calendar or Google Baba this dabba just will put everything you will get it exam it will not there don't depend on that because examination it is not allowed this Google dabba is not allowed then you have to put your brain how to understand this if first January first 80 was Monday then how from here we will able to calculate 15 8 1947 which date will fall this will be based on the repetition of week then total number of days divided by 7 whatever remainder we are getting that is called odd days and based on the number of odd days we will able to decide which day it will be if number of odd days are 0 means it is perfectly divisible by 7 then which day it will be Sunday if it is number of odd days 1 then it will be Monday number of odd days 2 it will be Tuesday and number of odd days 6 it will be Saturday again multiple of 7 it will be again Sunday this is just a cyclic format now just will try to understand how to calculate odd days little more concentration is needed for not just 5 to 7 minutes once you understood afterwards it will be interesting non leap year it is 365 days if you are dividing 365 by 7 you will get 52 as a quotient and 1 as a remainder then 52 into 7 it will become 364 plus 1 means 1 odd days will be there in any of the non leap year what are other things will be in non leap year just you can say all the points will keep at one place not divisible by 4 February will be 28 days not divisible by 400 for century or like 180 1880 these are the facts or these are the points for non leap year number of odd days will be 1 if you are adding 2000 non leap year just to multiply 1 into 2000 total number of odd days 2000 again divide by 7 you will get very easily what will be the fraction whatever finally number of odd days we are getting leap year it is 366 days if you divide by 7 you will again 52 weeks and 2 odd days this first thing you just keep in mind Two three point you have to remember. If you are not remember also, it is a just fraction of time you will have to divide three sixty five by seven. It will 52, 52 weeks plus one odd days. Here fifty two weeks plus two odd days. But if you are keeping in mind, if you are remembered, then it will be easy. You will not spend all days and repeated repeatedly two second or four second to finding the odd days. The non leap year one number of odd days and leap year two number of odd days. Just to keep in mind. Leap year is divisible by 4, February 29 days, divisible by 4 and 400 both, for century year like 480, 1600, 2080. First January 1st eighty was Monday, already I told to you, this is assumption, based on that only calculation will be possible. Now, just we will try to understand, in 7 days, okay, Monday to Monday will come, Sunday after, again 7 days, Sunday will come, again after 365 days, New Year will come, but calculation is not for one year two year calculation will be hundred thousand thousand of years then how to make it is a group of the years to understand in better way what we'll do first we'll try to understand based on the hundred years hundred years if you are taking then how many leap years will be there 24 leap year this is multiple of four we are not doing any rocket science so just again you try to remember your all number number pattern or divisibility theorem Multi in 100 how many multiple of 4 will be there 100 divided by 4 25 will be there but we are writing here 24 why because last multiple of last multiple of 4 will be 100 this is not leap year this is non leap year this already i told to you already i told to you this is non leap year because it is not divisible by 400 this is century year and not divisible by 400 due to 25 total multiple of 4 will be there but we are taking 24 leap year 
then remaining by default it will be non-linear means first 100 years if we are starting from first ad then up to 100 ad 24 leap year 76 non-leap year just to multiply leap year having two number of odd days 2 into 24 non-leap year 1 into 76 total we are getting this 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 means number of odd days 5 i will just tell you a stretch your memory and put this also put this also just four or five numbers you have kept in calendar it will be sufficient to handle any level non-leap year number of odd days one leap year number of odd days two first hundred years number of odd days five two hundred years hundred plus hundred five plus five ten divided by seven three number of odd days three three hundred years hundred plus hundred plus hundred or two hundred plus hundred any one thing you can do Mathemat mathematics will never fail it will be 5 plus 5 plus 5, 15 divided by 7, number of odd days 1. It is reducing. 400 years, 300 years plus 100 year. 1 plus 100 year. 300 years, we know it is number of odd days 1. This 100 year, last 100 years means 301 to 480. We have to recalculate. We should not follow this pattern. Why? because 480 will be the first leap year in your century years due to in place of 24 leap years you will get here 25 leap year for last 100 years out of 400 years 300 to 400 you will get 25 leap years and by default 75 non leap years i am not making complication and you are getting comfortably then uh, just we'll calculate 25 into 2, 1 into 75, 125, 125, 7. You are now very expert in this basic math. It is 6. 300 years are having one number of odd days. Last 100 years, total number of odd days 6. Total has become 7. 7 by 7, number of odd days 0. What happened? After 400 years, first 400 years, number of odd days 0. How many figures you have to keep in mind? How many figures you have to keep in mind? only five data non leap year number of odd days one leap year number of odd days two hundred years number of odd days five two hundred years number of odd days three three hundred years number of odd days one and four hundred years number of odd days zero over if these number you kept without confusion then you will be much fast in solving the calendar question and understanding any of the concept then 400 years number of odd day is zero now every century year which is a multiple of 400 this will be leap year and number of odd days will be zero this is one of the concept this is derived concept means 400 AD number of odd days zero don't think question will come that much direct question will be little twisted but once you understood this concept you will be able to move from here here to there like non leap year to leap year leap year to non leap year based on that uh, plenty of questions are coming based on the meeting based on the birthday like this year your birthday is falling someday next year which date will fall after 10 years which date will fall these all type of questions but here number of odd days any of the century year which is multiple of 400 it will be leap year and number of odd days will be zero means we can say 400 years it is zero 800, 1200, 1600, 0. 2000 year number of odd days, 0. Now just suppose you want to calculate any of the days of 2002. What we will do? 2000 plus 2 years, 2000 will become 0. Over. First we will search multiple of 400. These 2 years only we have to put effort and calculate. Just we will again break it down on the month basis. Just will come, come on the way. 